Good evening, buenas noches, and uh, buen provecho as everyone is having their dinner. I, I want to really say a special thank you to Luis and Lee Manuel Miranda, who have known me for so many years and for that generous introduction. And I really want to commend Nick Turner for his leadership. Can we give him a round of applause? And I mean, I don't, I'm not going to speak for long at all, but I just want to say a few words. And I want to just, again, to highlight the incredible work of Vera. So we all know that we are in an era of profound vulnerability, especially for immigrants, for refugees, and communities of color in this country. Attacks on immigrants, xenophobia, racism, anti-Semitism happen regularly and are having debilitating effects. It is an exhausting daily drumbeat of incompetence, bigotry, corruption, and lying. But at the local level, cities are resisting and showing that our democracy, although imperfect, must be defended. So I'm proud to say yes. <laughs> Very true. I'm proud to say, as City Council Speaker, we took major steps to protect and defend immigrants and vulnerable populations, and in the process showed how cities and municipalities can be dams against the tide of racism and xenophobia that is emanating from the current occupant of the White House. They can attempt to build their walls, but with our cities, we, are, we can create an oasis of justice. On criminal justice reform, we acknowledged the structural racism that persisted top to bottom and persists top to bottom, that for too long targets communities of colors, and we did something about it. Recognizing that too many people were being caught up in the dragnet of low-level crimes, like being in the park after dark or drinking on your own stoop. We passed landmark legislation called the Criminal Justice Act that lowered penalties for low-level nonviolent crimes. I know we have some DAs in the room and I want to thank them for their partnership. A criminal record for something as small as that, as I mentioned, being a park after dark or drinking on your stoop, could lead to a lifetime of difficult harming people's chances to get the job or get a home. This meant thousands of people were walking around New York City with criminal records that threw up too many obstacles to a better future, and we changed that. And as Luis said, we also recognized that Rikers Island, our most notorious jail, was a key component of the structural racism that we are fighting. So I convened a commission to explore how we could close it. So today I'm proud to say that we are on a path to doing just that, and sometime in the not too distant future, Rikers Island will close for good. So those are just some examples of what can happen when we mobilize behind a cause, bring people together, and fight for what is right. The New York City Council did the same on immigration and on so many other fronts. I felt and feel a moral responsibility against all odds to use the platform I have, as Vieira states in its own vision statement, to drive change, to urgently build and improve justice systems that ensure fairness, promote safety, and strengthen communities. During my term as speaker, it was great that the Vera Institute was there side by side with me to hold me and my colleagues accountable, and that Vera continues to engage in that work. So gracias for this recognition, gracias for your work, Vera, and onward towards justice. Thank you.